Hello, hello, my lovely connoisseurs of the culture. My name is V, and I'm going to teach you all how to speak calmly. Think about the most peaceful, serene thing you could possibly think of. Now, think about being in that relaxing setting. Maybe it could be walking amongst the nature park. Maybe you're enjoying a nice leisurely bath. Maybe you're just in your room with a good book. Whether it's during early in the day where there's no sound or late at night when there's no one active other than yourself. Just think about calm things like that. That's what I'm going to try to do for today's episode because I've been thinking about it. I'm wondering how long I can go speaking calmly. Odds are it's probably going to last 20 seconds. Like the minute someone jumps in and makes some joke or I see some cool demon or something, it's going to be foolish, totally foolish. I'm getting beside my point. Welcome, welcome back to the beautiful world of Shin Megami Tensei Five: Vengeance. I am the lovely, calm voice you can't forget, the incredible V. And as you can see, I've gotten myself quite a few new demons. And even better, and again, I'm going to be calm, I was putting myself through the ringer, playing quite aggressively to get some good amount of money. Now, I gotta say, what is a really nice perk, because uh, I did make a bunch of random demons, what is a nice perk is... I didn't realize that having Oseis and Anzus and then talking to other Oseis and Anzus is quite lucrative. Now, it wasn't all the time, fair, but there were occasional times, like what you're about to see right here, where I was able to talk and gain some money. Oh, well, I guess I didn't do a good clip of it, but yeah, that's some of the things I've been doing this past uh, couple of days off camera, because I really wanted to get the money, because I said I was going to do it within the last episode, and I really need to figure this out. And I need to get uh, Artemis. I, it's unacceptable not getting Artemis again. How do I get this glory? Um, maybe I can. Oh, wow! Ooh. Nailed it. I don't know if that was the way to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it. Um, let's see. I do have less glory. I don't know if I did that on camera. I think I did it off camera as well. Um, I spent the glory on. Man, I can't remember. Did I spend it on the glory to, or the miracle to be able to uh, talk during other people's turns? I think that's what I did. Um, but otherwise, last episode we just explored this area. Um, oh, I guess I should do the one minute moment. I have been kind of like dead set focused, and you know what? This is a good place to do it. So, let's do the one minute moment right here, because I think I'll be safe. Alright, here's the one minute moment while I just stare at the, well, nothing, I guess. Um, so last episode, we explored more of Kabukicho, gathering jewels and doing some side quests on the way, getting the demons, you know how it goes. Um, and, you know, getting occasionally a meme on or two and realizing that this game could be quite brutal, we'll say that much. Uh, but the biggest significant thing was we got to this little ruined area here and found the lovely Nama who popped out of nowhere. And boy, oh boy, she threw us for a loop, coming out of nowhere, trying to, I guess coerce me into joining and to slaying or no slaying betraying the god of law and clearly Tao didn't quite take too kindly to it Yoko on the other hand still kind of concerned on that aspect but uh hmm who knows uh and my apologies just adjusting the mic here um <clears throat> But yeah, we dealt with the god, well, excuse me, uh, Nama wants us to get rid of the god of law, or to, man, I can't, see, I'm trying to talk calmly and I just can't do it. Oh, I'm so bad. Well, regardless, Nama tried to coerce us in doing it. I'm still curious on Yoko's aspect of this, and it would seem that they're, I guess the Kadishu are back in the normal world trying to get my, more Makatsuhi, so we're gonna have to go to the reality. I do want to do some exploring around here, but yeah. Who am I kidding? I, this calming thing, this speed calming thing's not gonna work, is it? I, I, okay, so here's the reason why I want to do this. And no, Algami, I'm just gonna tell it right now. Uh, <laughs> okay, I forgot. Oh, please attack me. Where am I? I I'm panicking. I, I just can't. Okay, so here's the other thing. Uh, one of my friends watched one of my episodes from a different playthrough and thought to have the. Well, okay, so usually I'm trying to learn my best in order to be able to speak better, get my voice across, grow as a content creator, that whole jazz, right? Um, one of my friends decided to say, well, how about you do an episode where you try and talk as gently and calmly as possible? And I don't 
really know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm darn sure going to try. And, well, clearly that whole little falling aspect was a thing. Um, and no, I shouldn't just gloss over Algami, because I know Algami tries his best. So, Algami, if you don't mind. For those who wish to support young Vitamin DGR and his assets, efforts, and enclosures, please follow him on Twitch with the handle of Vitamin DGR. You may also subscribe if you wish to support him in his channel, or you may subscribe and like his videos on YouTube. Young man, I do not believe enclosures is the right word. Is this what you really wanted me to say? Well, I mean, I kind of messed up with the script. You know what? I, the point has come across. Let's just get to it. Welcome, welcome, Rio, to the stream. Um, I did run around a little bit off camera just to like find more collectible things because it is nice to get more jewels so that we can get more essences, and I would love to do that. But I didn't really get to explore all the area completely, so yeah, I want to do that first, and then we'll go back to reality and deal with the uh, uh, the Kadishu. If I am gonna fight the Kadishu, also there's a mission over there. Uh, I'll I'll do it in a minute. There's a Mimon over here. So I did run around this earlier area here um, because there's a Hanuman around. Yeah, Hanuman over there. And I guess as I ran up these rooftops, I think I ran across a Mimon. Yeah, here we go. Bye -bye. Building here, very complicated. Mess up going in. Maybe no can get out. Be very carefree. Care carefree? I think he's trying to say careful, but I appreciate that. Um, but there's just so much area I still have yet to explore. I still need to go... I see treasures over there I want. I want those treasures over there. How do I get those? This place is big and I love it. And honestly... Ugh. Can I make this jump? No. Yeah, you. Um, yeah, it's crazy how large this area is. So good. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Like, I love how big this area is. Like, I'm not in a bad way overwhelmed. I actually love the fact that there's so much to explore. Um, ooh, Lucky Essence and Gold Card. Nice. Um, and I want more things like this. Like, such oof, freedom to be able to explore the areas, get some goodies, deal with whatever, you know, obstacles come my way. Sweet. I don't know. Things like that I really like. I need more games like this, especially in RPGs. I'm glad that they decided to do this for um, Shin Megami 5 Vengeance. Um, what is that quest over there? I'll do that in a second. Hello? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, there is one thing while I'm, you know, talking calmly, which by the way, chat, YouTube, uh, obviously let me know how the video or video quality, the voice quality is. Hopefully I'm not too loud or too quiet. I'm trying my best to handle this whole OBS thing because, you know, me and tech suck, but details. Um, so there was something I did do off camera while I was running around there. Um, I didn't realize that there was a chat section. Like, in the map, uh, where was it? Oh, yeah, here. This area here with the shrine that we talked about last time. Oh, man, it's, it was just threw me for a loop. Uh, apparently, I'm told it sounds good. Nice. Also, welcome, welcome, Afro, uh, Afro Blaze again to the stream. Jumping in saying, I hope that Fantasio game is open like this. I think it is. Or rather, from what I'm blessing from this, to go on a quick non sequitur, um, Metaphoria Fantasio seems to be not per se, I think it actually, excuse me, it is similar to this, where it's open world, but you know, like there's different sections. So for example, like you have this section of Minato, this section of Shinagawa. For what I'm gathering, at least from various information, I've been kind of like glossing over, or not glossing over, but reading and trying to do my best to study. It looks like Metaphoria Fantasio will be similar to this, where it's not like a whole full open world, things like Zelda or Witcher, but it's you go to certain areas, like traveling along the way, and in those areas is open, as well as different dungeons. At least that's my guess of this. Then again, to be fair, I did do the demo, so... And the demo, well, granted, the demo is only that certain areas, so... I don't know how it will be in the main game, or if they'll do change, uh, changes. Which, fun fact, if people don't know... Yeah, uh, I went to um, a convention, my first convention, actually, and they had a demo for Metaphoria Fantasia. Loved it. It is going to be good. Alas, I will not be playing that bad boy on stream because I want to keep that to myself. But at the same time, I have such a massive backlog of other games and quite a few games on the way that odds are probably not even going to be able to play Metaphor this year. I still need to figure out how to get it. Uh, where do I go from here? Um, I guess we'll just go this way. But um, 
What convention? Oh, oh gosh, what was it? It was... What happened back in... What was it? Uh, Anime uh, LA Expo or something? Like, I went down my first time to Los Angeles, which is quite a distance from me in case anyone's trying to, like, find out where I live or anything. Let's just say I'm here on the West Coast. Um, but they had a convention in Los Angeles, and I got to go there. And it was cool. It was my first time, even though I was nervous, because, you know, different area, don't know what the flip was going on. Uh, Rion says, wait, was that actually your first time in LA? Yep. I don't really go or travel much. I'm a hermit. As far as you all are concerned, I am but a simple Vita pill that only exists in the ether and only rarely ever comes out into the world. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna do the sub quest because I'm getting distracted. Um, but yeah, that was my first time going. I went in costume and it was a really fun time. And I, I think I've talked about it a couple episodes ago, but it was, it was really fun. And... I was nervous because, again, it was my first one, dealing with a bunch of people, but honestly, I had a blast. Apparently, LA is awful to be in. Oh, well, awful to drive in. Well, okay, so I, I, I already talked about it before, but one of the things I do remember uh, when we went to LA was, like, there was quite a few accidents we were uh, witnessing. We weren't part of it, don't worry. But there were a couple of accidents we witnessed because I, I can't say much because I can't drive, but I don't think people in LA can drive. If they are some, then I have yet to see some. Uh, is that Alice? That's an Alice. What does Alice want? Ooh, what would Alice want? Huh. Okay. Oh, I can't move. Okay. A little creepy. Rion says this is the weirdest quest in the game, in my opinion. Oh, that doesn't make me feel any better. Big sis, are you back? Wait, are you a girl or a boy? Uh, that's a very good question. I'm trying to figure that out myself. Um, I'm Akira. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. <laughs> so, is that a boy's name or a girl's name? Actually, it's a androgynous name. Like, there are many people in Japan that could be a boy or a girl, or any gender that could be named Akira. So, it's uh, not gender specific. So, are you a boy or a girl? Well... Yeah, you're weird. I'm just gonna call you Mr., okay? That's strange. I don't remember bringing someone like you here. I'm Alice. I'm looking for my big sis. I think she's hiding from me. That's why I can't find her. Isn't she so mean for leaving me alone like this? I feel like I should lash out at the first person I see. Right, mister? And then she like, I don't know, spins her head 360 degrees. Like, uh... Come on. By the way, mister, um, what color is your blood? Uh, why? Just wondering. Alice is staring at you? Uh, that's creepy. Also, I don't like this music that's playing. Although it does remind- Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Okay, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this tangent, but... This is something I really want to do for my birthday slash Halloween um, week stream thingy. Uh, my Five Days of Fright. I want to get a copy of a game that I used to play when I was younger, and I loved it. And I'm, I'm again, I'm not trying to spend too much time on this. I'm going to focus on the game, but I'm going to plant the seed now so you guys are aware of it. If I can get my hands, there was a game called Alice Madness Returns. I used to play on PS3 uh, way back when. Um, and I am definitely going to get a lot of flack for this. And I'm glad I'm saying this now before people like Bayo come out of nowhere and throw the simp emote at me. Um, please don't judge me, but feel free to judge me. I had a crush on Alice. And if you don't know who Alice from Alice Madness Return is, it's a very twisted gothic horror. Well, it, it's not really horror per se, but it's a very very obscure game. You know what? Just look up Alice Madness Returns. If I can get my hands on it, you can bet, sure sugar, I'm gonna want to play that bad boy. Granted, I don't remember it because it's been a long time, but I flip and love that game. And yeah, I get, like I said, I had a, I had a thing for Alice. I don't know something about like, I don't know. Maybe it was just the black hair, the green eyes, the fact that she, just cut things with. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm already, sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. If you eventually hear this video. Or for any kids watching this who are coming to be like, Hey, so I watched the Vitamin DJR episode, and he talked about liking a girl that likes cutting things. And then your mom and dad is like, 
Uh, I don't think you should watch that uh, by a DGR person anymore. Sorry, kids, for getting you in trouble. <laughs> I knew it! You're friends with humans, aren't you, mister? That's... What? Hmm, since you know humans, maybe you can find out where my big sister is? Oh, but you're not quite the same as my friends. Sorry, only special humans can come play with me. I don't get it, and I'm kind of getting weirded out here. Young man. Young man, I believe I am being weirded out, as one would say. We may be able to assist Alice from a distance by seeking your... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's one of those subquests where I take control of the, the demon? Ooh, how's that gonna work? This demon may appear innocent enough, but I can sense an immense power within her. Uh, how can you tell? It may be perhaps the smoke that's coming out of her body. Depending on how you proceed, she might lend that power to us later on our journey. Hmm, that's a really interesting ability you have, Master, uh, Mister. Come on. In that case, I'd like you to help me look for my big sis. Wait, you said that out loud, Algami? Did you not want me to? I kind of thought you'd say it. Keep it to ourselves here. Alice's Wonderland. Okay, okay, sure. Thanks a lot, Mister. Okay, I'll show you to my secret place. Yes. For the time being, I suggest we wait and observe. It might help us learn more about the situation. I also suspect that Alice may be hiding something. I suspect it as well. Okay, this is now a thing. Oh, she. Okay, this is. Hmm. Interesting. This, um... Yeah, okay. Let's just, uh, do this. Alice was right. It would appear there are humans here, but why? For now, let's see what they have to say. <sighs> oh no, this is a disaster! Oh dear, I'm gonna be late for tea! <sighs> uh, if I'm late, Alice will be so cross with me. Come on! Hey, have you seen my big sis? <laughs> Alice, uh, no, I haven't seen her. Oh, please forgive me. I'm begging you. Uh, Alice? What have you done? How did I get that reference? Uh, what is she doing? Um, is someone there? Those cookies were delicious, but now look at me. I'm huge. Oh, that's funny. Oh, they're doing bits based off of Through the Looking Glass slash Alice in Wonderland, if you don't know the book. But, you know, it's from Alice in Wonderland. Let's just make it easier. See? I'm so tall, and you're so small. I can't even see you anymore. <laughs> How sad. She thinks she's gotten bigger, but to everyone else, she looks the same. Come on. I've never felt like that, mister. Anyway, I don't think she's seen my big six either. Uh, Alice? What was in the drink you gave her? You know what? There are many things in this world we don't need to know. Oh. Okay. He's telling me he's not. Who are you again? Let me see. You're supposed to be the caterpillar, right? Come on. Hey, why aren't you saying anything? Oh, uh, Alice, uh, forgive me. I'm in a cocoon right now. I'm sorry, but I can't talk until I hatch into a butterfly. I don't know where your big sis went. Hmm. Well, let's play again when you become a butterfly. This is the weirdest thing. And I kind of vibe with this. Who was that over there? Is that a Nekomata? Well, I'll talk to you later. Oh, Alice. Oh, actually. Oh, Alice, can we put the tea party on hold until later? I haven't thought of today's riddle yet. Oh, how did it come to this? I'm passing time trying to come up with riddles that pass time. But wait, the time has passed. Does that mean I've already come up with the riddle? <laughs> oh, how delightful. Come on. Hello. I'm trying to find where my big sis went. Mm. I haven't seen her for some time. But hasn't she been acting a bit peculiar lately? Maybe has she has something on her mind. <sighs> big sis. See, it's probably a good thing that my guy doesn't change his facial expressions, because I bet he'd, like, be freaked out by this. 
Uh, there is nowhere else to go but with you, Nekomata. Is Nekomata my sis? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm the Cheshire Cat. Dunk, I'm the cat. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's funny. It had I would have expected it to be either seeing... Okay, I'm stuttering. Um, when it comes to the Cheshire Cat, it could either have been you or Kate Sith. Or, or Senri. Senri's also kind of a cat. But I think Nekomata's a funnier choice. Because of the whole yeah, yeah, I get it thing. You know, it sure is a lot of work to play with you. By the way, something smells off. Is someone else there? <laughs> yep, I brought a friend. He's helping me look for my big sis. A new friend, huh? Must be a few mackerel short of a meal wanting to help someone like you. But I guess that makes sense. We're all a little mad down here. The same goes for you and Meow too. Oh, see, it's, I love this. It's there's there's such good references. Maybe I am disturbed. I don't know. I just realized that I kind of just outed myself, admitting that I used to have a crush on Alice from. She's not even like. Okay, maybe I don't even remember what she 100% looks like right now, but I realized what I said was weird. But I really do like Alice through the Looking Glass. Granted, it's also quite depressing and serious, something that Disney doesn't want you to know, but if you know, it's quite fascinating and very detailed. And Nekomata's gone. You know, perfect, like a Cheshire cat. Wait, there's nowhere else to go. Where do I go? There's, there's no wall. Oh, from the map. Duh, B. Uh, I don't think your sis is here. Alice, don't tell me you haven't realized it for yourself. This little wonderland of yours can't go on forever. All the souls you trapped here actually want to go home. Your big sis probably started to figure it out too. So I'm just about done playing with you myself. So I don't think I'll come here anymore. Bye. <sighs> what an annoying cat. Huh? Everyone's acting strange. Okay, what is this quest? Hmm. Alice, it's time to say goodbye. The clock has stopped for me, but it's finally starting to tick again. I have to go. I remember that someone is waiting for me. I broke up with him over such a silly argument. I need to apologize. This will be our last tea party, but I had fun playing with you. Well, see ya. Did you have fun too, Alice? I hope so. Wait, uh, I don't... They're disappearing? How is Alice going to take this? I'm, I'm kind of, uh... Uh... Uh, Alice, I remember who I really am now. I'm not a caterpillar. I was human, and apparently this is my voice now. And this is what remains in my soul. I moved to the city. I remember having such a promising future. But I died before I could realize my potential. That's why I couldn't move on from here. The time has come for me to move on, though. I have to start my next life. See you around. Later, Alice. Thanks for making me my friend making me your friend. I feel like this is just gonna make Alice mad. Not not the crazy mad, but the angry mad, and whatever. <sighs> my eyes have finally opened. I was trapped in an illusion where my body had grown massive. I could barely even breathe. Why in the world would you show me such a nightmare? The whole reason I was stuck in here is because I didn't want to suffer the same way I did when I died. My hands are tied. I won't endure such pain again. If this is how it's going to be, I'd rather just pass on, so I'll be going now. I hope I never see you again. Uh oh. Uh, this would be the time where my controller would start vibrating and to like represent Alice's rage. <sighs> now that I'm calm and relaxed, I've always felt like I've had to hurry somewhere. Now I'm where I'm going. It's back to my wife. I can't speak today. Let me try that again. Now I know where I'm going. It's back to my wife and daughter. The last time I saw my little girl was that morning. She begged, me, she begged me to play with her. I remember patting her head as I left for work. Why didn't I stay with her? I just couldn't cast aside that feeling of regret. See you. But now it's time for me to go. She'll be so cross with me if I'm late. Much like you are going to be cross with me now that I'm out of here. Deuces. <laughs> that... Mm. Mister, what do I do now? Everyone is gone. I see. 
It would seem Alice used her power to keep those departed souls in this world. They appeared to be living people, but in reality, they were simply concentrations of Makatsuhi. Perhaps their strong emotions, along with Alice's desire to make friends, ended up drawing each other together. <laughs> uh... Alice... no. Alice, you've been a bad girl. You know better than to involve strangers like this. <laughs> big sis! That's your big sis? I've been looking all over for you. Why are you hiding? Do you mind? You saw them, didn't you? Our time has come. I didn't want to leave. That's why I went to hiding. <sighs> you knew everything, but you still stayed? <laughs> yes. It was such a joy to be your big sister. Yes. But you've been dreaming for too long, little sister. And as your big sis, it's my duty to wake you up. The other one with you. As long as he's with you, I can go in peace. Goodbye. Farewell, Alice. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> bye bye, big sis. Okay, I get it. It's kind of sad, but... It just kind of felt like you pawned her onto me. Because she said the other one in you, as long as he's with you, you'll be fine. That's, that's me. This is no fun. All of my friends are gone now. Uh, want to come with me and you'll see a place of your imagination. Are you going to be my friend, mister? All my friends are dead, but this is so exciting. Nice to meet you. I can't wait to meet new people. Wait, how's this going to work? I already have an Alice. I can't wait to meet new people who aren't dead yet. Yet? Uh, whoops, Freud and Slip. Oh no, it looks like I can't go with you right now. I'll wait by the ley line found a- You're a navigator demon? Oh. Well. That was... A quest? Oh, did I also explain that I made some new demons? I think I did. Um, oh gosh. I might give you- Uh, you don't really need Megadola, do you? No, you don't. Well, that was a quest. Um, Rion, you are right. I, uh, I didn't expect that. I definitely didn't expect that. Um, so how does Alice work in regards to, like, finding things for me? Because here's the reason why, even though I'm sick of Dekarabia, I'm sticking with him. I do want more jewels, but at the same time, I am curious. Plus, I also do have um, Amabi, who's a navigator demon now, too. There's so many navigator demons in this game, it's ridiculous. And I need to start playing with you guys. Um, well, I fell by Kabuki Cho. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn in the jewels I have, I'm gonna switch out. How many do I have? 12 for 6? Sure, I'm just gonna get rid of all of them, or as many as I can. Alright, right, yeah, 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 thank you. Oh, that's not many of those. I wonder if, um... Well, nah, it's probably only Dekarabia that can give me jewels. But I wonder if, like, they did it different in this game. Or maybe there'll be someone else that could do it. Wow, I have a lot of these. Okay. Alright, well, I'm filling up my agility essences. Don't need any more of those bad boys. I should start using them, but I like hoarding them. But I should use them. Just to see if I have some space, because I'm at 99. Yeah, let's see. Agility essences or incense or whatever. You know what I mean. Let's use. What do I want to have fast speed? Let's give it to me Hatra. Let's use. Yeah, thirty nine. Whoa. Oh jeez. Wait, his speed is that high? Oh, I didn't realize I. Wow, you are one fast dog now. But see, this is why I hoard my stuff. Now I just gotta... Oh, hey, excuse me. I gotta just go get some more. Um, I should stick with Dekarabia, like I said, because I know he'll get me more jewels. But... You know, get more things here. Um, Naruto is god now. Well, I mean, he's not the fastest. But he is damnably darn fast. 
Also, did I explore everywhere else? Oh! Hello, Bakatsuki Rail. Ooh! Little secret area here? Okay, I dig it, I dig it. Oh, well, can we get this? Welcome, welcome, Bayo, to the stream. Alright, what's this? Emeralds? Alright. Man, it's gonna suck getting rid of Dr. Robbie a little bit, because I really want those jewels. I can always just do it off-camera. Oh. Luck Essence. Anansi's Essence. Oh yeah, I did that. And can't have any more Alarator Showers. Is there anywhere else to do? I don't think there's anything else. Do we just go do the main mission? I feel like there's so much more here I still need to explore. Oh, wait. Is that a... Ooh, I see a meme on over there. Ooh, and luck bombs. Thank you. Nah, my life end here. Wait, the heck? Thought you here to eat me, but you not that mean face only demon. That good. I glad. Face only demon? Face only demon? Oh, oh, the, um. The, uh, the stars. Kaiwan? Yeah, that's probably it. Um. Things above me. Oh, man, there's too much. Alright, maybe I might do this off camera. Okay, while I have this money and before I lose it, I'm gonna go spend it to get Artemis. I finally got enough. It took so long to get there. Wait, why am I running? Where's Alice? Alright, Alice, please don't uh kill me. Come on. You'll take me with you, right? <laughs> Whenever you die, mister, I'll be right there with you. Uh Oh, you finished now? Phew, you certainly make your demons work. Yeah, dude, I had you here for so flippin' long. It is ridiculous. Thank you for your... Well, okay, I, you still kind of made me mad because you kept making me fight fights. By the way, folks, I also got to say this. I did level up and get a number of grimoires because this dude, I don't know if it's just I'm cursed. I kept finding red Matama. Not the blue ones, not the yellow ones, not the other ones that give you the gospels. Just the red ones. I don't know, like, do red Matama hate Deck Rabia or something? So stupid. Ailsa, said, now I finally get to say it. Kabuki chose area theme is my favorite. I admit, the area is really nice. Alright, so how does Alice work? Does she help me, like, find jewels? Well, she probably doesn't. Does she find goodies for me? Wait, hold on. Let me go get Artemis. I still need to go to Cadaver's Hollow. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. Wait, do I have room? I have room, right? Ooh, I don't have room. See ya. All right, where is she? Uh, oh, there you are. All right, now I'm broke again, but worth it. I mean, not really, but totally worth it. And then, let's see, what level am I? 56, can I make anything? I don't know, what's the next like thing? What can I do at 56? Um, I can make Sibylle, I can make Sweetie. Oh, actually, Sibylle is kind of nice. Sweetie, Titania. Oh, no, I can't make Titania. Only you three? Um, can I make Sibley? Uh, oh, oh, maybe I do have a use for this Oberon. Oberon was a fusion accident that I got off camera. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, anything that doesn't cost money? It doesn't get rid of my good demons? Uh, on Yakapon? Not, I don't want to really get rid of him because he's got really good support stuff and Sibley's not going to be a support demon. Uh... When did I make a claw though? Alright. I don't remember making a claw though. Alright, sure. I don't remember making a claw though. Oh, that might have been another fusion accident. Um, okay, what do I give you? What do we make her? Um, she's gonna learn. What does she have? Dark Sword, Moragodai, and Samaricarm. Let's give her. Mataro Kaja. Let's give her. Via Marita. Um. Do I need this? I don't really know what else I can give her. She has Moragodine. It'd be nice to give her like a Fire Plumber or something. Um, how about one support thing, which I probably will get rid of, and... Yeah, screw it. Acrobat Kit. I'm probably going to replace it. She's going to learn. She's going to learn Safeguard and Sexy Dance. Oh. Well, that's the case. There we go. Is this deep? Don't mess up. Alright, phew. 
All right, Sibley, you're going to be my demon of the episode. Yeah, I, I hope that um, the next time I go to a convention, like another anime convention, I already know what I want to do. Well, okay, I have three ideas for what I want to do um, for my next costume, because I talked about it before. I dressed up as Joker from Persona 5. Um, there are three other characters I want to dress up as, but I'll talk about it after this. What's up, Sibley? This is gonna be so much fun! Actually, I wonder something. If I have Sibley, what happens if I talk to uh, Addis? <laughs> um, you don't need this. I'm gonna talk to Addis too. Alright, that should do for now. Ooh. I'm starting to get some real good demons. Oh, well, we finally did level up a bit. Alright, um, but yeah, so I can say this really quickly. Um, I have three uh, people I want to dress up as. Um, I want to dress up as the Nahobino. Uh, I want to either the Nahobino, excuse me. I want to dress up as a, a gender bent version of Ringo from Soul Hackers, or I would like to, and this is definitely a lot more obscure. Um, I want to dress up as Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes. And of the three mentioned, the Travis touchdown one was more likely to happen. Unfortunately, I I don't know if I'll be able to get a good like Moe shirt, and I don't know what I'll use for the beam katanas. But oh man, it would be cool if I get to do it. Uh, healing support, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Healing goes before this. There we go. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, actually, before I leave, before I leave, and we're gonna go to the real world after this. Welcome. What essences can I do? Bale said I would totally do a Nahobino cosplay. Like, right? Like, being the Nahobino is so cool. Like, look at him. Just beautiful blue hair, just a vacant expression. I don't know what I would do for, like, a hand blade, but I have been trying to practice uh, various times whenever I'm bored or in the shower or stuff, the hand motions for, um, oh gosh, the, the move. Speaking of which, I need to do that before I leave, too. Uh, the Wrath Tempest skill, you know, where he does the three fingers on top, three fingers at the bottom. I really want to do that. It's super cool. Um, what should I do? Man, Essence for Quarter Demons? I don't really need that. Demons that level up via Inspired Content uh, Covenant will gain one level based stat bonus. Not a bad idea. Unless there's anything I'm trying to save up for. The cost of summoning demons for the companions is reduced by 10%. I honestly should be doing this considering I need money. Um, anything here? See Steam Song over there. I already did that. Oh. And again, I also need a lot of glory for that, too. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, wish screw it. Know. Sure. Just give me this. I should have done the expanding one, or the one that reduced the cost for the um, summoning, but whatever. Uh, before I go further, I've been forgetting. I need to do this now. I need to do skills, because I have you with this evergreen dance thing, and Fizz for Loma, and I have you for Wrath Tempest, so unfortunately, it's not like I won't get these skills again, but it's time to rearrange some skills, so Wrath Tempest Rion says evergreen dance is godly well, I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's been quite a few episodes, I forgot I had that essence, and I really should use it, so I mean, I, I read it. It says it gives me Makasuki, so I imagine it's good, but I need to think. What else am I going to do for now? Uh, Bale said, or no, excuse me. Yeah, it was Bale. Bale says, Joker can be fun too, actually. I have the right kind of hair for it, but I also have to cut it a bit, and I don't know how I feel about that. I tried to rearrange my hair to be like it as well. The problem I had with my Joker costume, I mean, my Joker clothing, and I didn't really have the boots, so I had to just improvise with just some heavy, like, combat boots. Like, Things that you imagine like goths would wear. Um, the one problem I had was the mask I had was like, it was a 3D printed mask, and it wearing it for a long period of time, it got 
uncomfortable so there were times where i had to just like take off the mask and it sucked because while i was nervous also again I, there were people that came out of nowhere and be like can i take your photo please can i take your photo and there were times where i didn't have the heart to like say oh i'm sorry i can't but only because like it hurt my face so there were some times where i had to grin and bear it and there were some times where i would just like take the mask and i would just like put it to my lips and try to just look cool um yeah so if you do try to do a joker one try to get a comfortable mask also, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, okay, let's think. Let's think. I'll do Rat Tempest, Runa's Thunder, Sakanagi, Giant Arrowfall. I do like Inflaming Divinity. Um, I don't really need Miracle Water only because I haven't really been upping my healing skills. And again, I've got to think of it as I can always get these skills again. So just choose the ones I want. Kanavi Fail, I do use. Then again, Restore is handy in case I get a crit. And Bloody Greed is good for criticals. And I kind of want to be a crit person. So I would give up my... Oh, wait, I can't do both of them because there's the other one with... Um... Dang it. There's the other one with... Uh... With the Evergreen Dance. All right, then let me do... Bloody Glee and... Oh, wait, I will have enough to do... No, because I've got to do Inflaming Divinity. All right, yeah, we'll done. How is this? Oh, and by the way, Bale said, in other news, it's out. Time to start episode, I guess. Well, technically, it's out early for some, but tomorrow's her birthday. Greg said, I won't be playing episode, I guess, anytime soon. And I'm cool with that because I like to take my sweet time. Even though I don't really think I'm missing anything out because, I mean, come on. I know the story. Unless they're doing something different. I don't know. I'm totally being funny here. I'm so excited for episode, I guess. I'm, I'm really enthusiastic for it. I can't wait to, after I play it, just go online and see how many people like experience episode I guess for the first time be like wait this is a thing how did people go through this before like yeah it was it was rough back then okay Wrath Tempest Runa's Thunder Sakanagi um Bale says it's out for everyone now assuming you have the DLC I don't I don't have the DLC yet I need money dude we eat Divine Arrowfall let's do greatly fills Bakasui Gage once per turn we'll do that Flaming Divinity, and... Ooh, actually, this is a good one. Either increase the crit rate or increase my overall physical attack damage. You know what? No, I'd rather do the crit because I'm also using almighty stuff. Yeah, I'll do Bloody Glee. How it... All right. That should do for now. So, shall we save and go see what the heck's going on in uh, the reality? In the reality. You know what I meant. Look at how much we explored. Look how much more we still have to explore. Oh boy. I still have to... Wait a second. Can I... Can I go here? Like, is there more place to explore here? I didn't think about this. This is an area I don't think I was supposed to get yet. Can I go here? Like, legitimately? Young Kansu appears quite fixated on that, chairman, that human child at the moment. To be young also can mean to be reckless. We'll have to see how things play out. I didn't know I could go here. Oh, man. Then, yeah, the reality can wait. Wait, it's just you? What do you just... What do you do out here? There's nothing to do. Do you just stand around? Nah, Hakami. How's my brother? It's sorry. I know it's not right for me to think about so much about it. You've heard the expression, birds of a feather, right? Literally, it refers to a flock of birds, but figuratively, it can mean two individuals who stick together. I used to think my brother and I were like that, but I was wrong. My brother has a wonderful set of wings that he can use to fly on his own, but he kept them hidden from me. That's why I think we need to be apart. Maintaining the fiction that nothing had changed was too cruel. But even so, I still worry. My brother is honest to a fault, and that can get him in trouble. You all follow orders from Prime Minister Koshimizu, right? Hope he isn't the kind of person who take advantage of others. Wow, you talked a lot. Yeah, I'm kind of bored out here. There really wasn't much to do. I didn't really think this out. Uh, next time you go to reality, I don't know if you can, like, bring me some manga, maybe some chips, or at least a notebook. I can write my own OC fanfiction. I can also... Wait, where are you going? I, there's a couple of things I want to ask for. Wait, not Hakami kun Not Hakami kun Yeah, I think she'll be fine. I don't, I don't need to mess with her. But yeah, I didn't know I could explore this area. I should have done this. 
Uh, Miyazu Asuta is Kansu. Uh, excuse me. Miyazu Asuta is Kansu's Ba, the human that is his soul, so to speak. However, it appears Kansu has no intention of becoming a Nahobito and leading us. Good on him. Don't worry about Miyazu, dear. The Egyptian branch is keeping her safe, as promised. Hey! It's dangerous to continue on this path. Oh. Is that the terrifying demon of the Drake race is lurking ahead? You should turn back. Ah, oh, flip! Well. What if I just go this way? Okay, dang. Hey! Alright, I can't go further yet. I guess I have to wait till I'm okay, strong enough to take down Seth. Like, how strong can Seth be? I'm sure I could probably bait him. Ish. What's this wrong thing? What are all those huge... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Sorry. Something is... Okay, I know this is going to seem weird, and I'm not trying to stall, but I'm curious. What are these large enemies here? Okay, so that one's definitely Biako. What is this thing? What is this icon? Oh, wait. Is it Jatayu? Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I'm weirded out. Sorry, because in the mini-map when I was about to, like, warp, I looked at the map in the corner left, and I was like, wait... There are three large enemies? There should only be Biako. Why is there two other ones? Who are the other two? One of them is the Henley King. One of them is the bird that I really should fight at some point. So I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough to take them down, but I'll worry about that later. All right, let's see. What's going on in reality? Hmm. We told the public we're investigating the reason people are collapsing, but how are we supposed to explain Ugh. this? Our job is to support the people without revealing the truth. We can't do that and put their minds at ease at the same time. All we can do is rely on Director Kyoshimizu. The Prime Minister might be the only one who can handle all this. But doesn't he only get involved if money's involved? Hmm, I think we're doomed as a human species if uh, the Director doesn't do anything. <sighs> Sorry, I just got a little dizzy. No, I'm fine. Can't afford to stop now. Can't just leave the people to suffer. Yes. The Prime Minister is doing his best to earn the people's trust. I can't let him fight this battle alone. Is he really doing anything? I feel like all he does is just demand us to do things. By the way, under Master Abdiel's command, it seems Bethel's besieging the Demon King's castle. They got Ario cornered. Ichiro Dazai is apparently among the combatants too, and they say he's making. Wait, what? Dazai is there. He only just learned to use the demon summoning program. How is he doing so well? What's Master Abdiel planning? Now that the Demon King castle is under her control, what's her next priority? I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, wait, hold on. Now I'm really confused. Are we not going to that area in this game? Do we not go? To well, I'm, I'm being rhetorical because I don't want to be spoiled. But do we not? Okay, so in OG5, instead of the Shinjuku area, we would go to deal with uh, the Demon King's castle. We fight the Force of Chaos. We deal with Ishtar and Ariok, who is just the most curviest thing. Um, that's concerning. Wait, what? Wait, where am I supposed to go? First, let me save. Where am I supposed to go? Is it this one I'm supposed to go to? I like how you guys finally did the simp emote for me. Where am I supposed to do? Oh, what are my quests? Oh, well, those are all the subquests. Where am I supposed to go? There's a button that lets me. Oh, there we go. Report back to Battle Japan. Oh, I need to talk to Kyoshimizu. Okay. He's just gonna, like, moan about how I'm wasting his time because he wants money or something. Like, he doesn't do anything. Isn't it just messed up? He doesn't do anything and he gets paid the big bucks? I'm literally risking my life out here, and for what? Alright, you. I swear, if you start complaining about how I'm wasting your time, and every second wasted is a cent lost. Good, you're back. The Kadishtu have been wreaking havoc all over Tokyo. We know. Oh, well, I guess technically we just figured it out last episode, but still. While you were tracking down this crow, we've been investigating Josoji Temple and the Fortune Teller. But people suddenly started collapsing at an alarming rate. We had to issue a citywide lockdown. 
You went that far? Wow. That's... Whoa. Yes. At first, it was only the people in Josoji Temple who collapsed. But soon enough, it spread to the neighboring areas. It's even affected some Bethel staff. We don't know the exact cause, but for now, we believe it's dangerous to approach the temple. So... What do we do about this? Unfortunately, without knowing why it's happening, we can't respond accordingly. As such, the best we can do is urge the people to keep their distance. Wait, we don't know? God, what are you used? Wait. There's something the matter, boy. I just had a thought. You said, without knowing why it's happening, we can't respond accordingly. If I can try to pick your brain, do you actually know what's happening, but you refuse to help because you think it would cost you money? Would you care to elaborate? Well, I'm just thinking, like, if I were you, in order to respond accordingly, you have to pay your soldiers, you have to make sure they had rations, you have to probably spend some money for resources. I would imagine it costs quite a pretty penny to, like, take care of Bethel's forces so they can handle this. And I don't know, if I were trying to gain more money, or in this case, save more money, I would probably, you know, come up with some crazy excuse of not responding accordingly, so that way I can save more money. But that's just me, unless that's what your thoughts are, Director. My boy, you are going to be an absolute godsend in the business world. I think I should mold you in my image, make you my apprentice with such beautiful ideas such as that. You are absolutely right. I could have responded accordingly, but if I did that, I would not be making enough money. And as you know, time is money. Yes, that's exactly right. Now, I can naturally have you guys handle it. I don't want to respond, of course, myself, because I did get this expensive suit. Do you know how expensive this is? Your kids, 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 kids would not be able to afford this. That's quite a lot. No matter what kind of job they did, they can only even think of dreaming to be able to have the job that might potentially give them the money for this. And I do not want to get a single speck of dust on this thing. So I can't respond accordingly. But, but what about soldiers? Yeah, but they've been lately asking for overtime and benefits and other all sorts of things. It's just, it's a whole different legal issue. I just, this is why you have to afford cheap labor. Because if you go for proper labor, then they always ask for more things. And then you have to go with the government and worry about labor laws and do such and such and blah, blah, blah. And I want to imagine Dr. Kyoshimizu starts mumbling about, like, unethical things for his company so he can make more money. And then Yoko's like, can we, can we not talk about this now? It's like, what? Oh, right, I forgot the mission. Well, moral of the story is, if you're trying to save money, you need to go with cheap labor. The younger, the better. If you try to go for adults, they will always ask for more. It's like the book of Give a Mouse a Cookie. They will always ask for more, and they will keep asking until... Can we please just go on with the thing? I see. Welcome, welcome, Nick, to the stream. Jumping in saying, hey, V, can I make a request? Yeah, lay it on me. No more reports of people turning to pillars of salt, at least. I'll take my mercy as where I can. At present, Bethel's at a loss. Without a way to proceed, we were simply awaiting your return. Did you learn anything out there? Because we're the cheap labor? Yes, because you're the cheap labor. Explain Mastema and the Crow. Explain the Kadishti's plans. Um... I guess I'll start with that one. Can you play myhouse.wad? What? What is that? Those damned angels. After all Bethel's talk of protecting the people, they pulled this. And of all angels, the perpetrator was Mastema. It's a Doom mod? I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't really uh, have... Well, I have a PC setup. I actually don't really have the ability to play PC games, at least to do it on, on Twitch. I only usually do consoles, so... I don't know if it's something I could do on console. And what do you mean of all angels, the perpetrator is Mastema? I mean, yeah, he's annoying, but he's so beautiful. Oh, wait, that's it? Okay, then I'll talk about the Kadishtu's plans then. So the Kadishtu are using the Metropolitan Government Building to summon a god. I do want to do it in the future, though. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing, like, mods and stuff because... Two of my friends have been doing, there's a mod for Left 4 Dead that they thought would be a good idea to play for my like Halloween slash birthday stream. And I'd be like, oh, that'd be so cool. And I'm trying to have that happen, but 
Unfortunately, one of my friends may be going out of town for our friends or uh, for our family members' wedding, so that might not happen. But hey, in the future, I would love to do like different like wacky moth stuff. If that's the end game, once they've got all their magatsuki, I'm thinking it might be connected to everyone collapsing on the spot. Based on your report, it seems safe to say the Kadishu are at least tangentially connected to the incidents near Josoji Temple. Ooh, what a beautiful word, tangentially. I'm gonna have to use that more often. If I had to speculate, they might be using some unknown method to drain Magatsuhi at an accelerated rate. Our findings suggest the source of the problem is in Josoji Temple. Could I ask you to investigate? Yeah, yeah. I'm going with you. Yuzuru? I want to do what I can to protect the people of Tokyo. Oh, you finally got over your little, like, depressed state of leaving your sister in Egypt? Or, well, you know, the Egypt section. That's why I want to keep working with Bethel. Well, with Director Koshimizu. Uh, Nikki says, on surface, uh, my house dot what is a recreation of the person's house in Doom Engine. Is it? I, I'll have to look into it. I never, I never heard of it. Oh, good luck through Ad Hell, my friend. Glad to see you're doing better. I'll be counting on you as well. Is it anything akin hey, to the, um... We need to talk. There's something I need to tell you, Anahobino. Is this something akin to the randomizers? I've been seeing... I've been getting people on, uh, recommended from Twitch and YouTube about people playing randomizers with some games I like. Like, there's apparently a randomizer for Persona. Someone did a randomizer for Kirby... I, I think it was Kirby 64. And it is the wildest thing. And I, I wouldn't mind trying that, because I've never really played a randomizer before, but man, it'd be cool. Could we head to the dorm roof? Okay, so user's gonna... Alright, let's go talk to user. Listen. Our findings. Okay, I don't mean to care. Alright, let's go with it. Oh, man, freaking human mode me. I know I can run, like, better than before, but oof. The first hit that things aren't right is when you go downstairs and the basement is layered underneath the first floor. Huh? That was a little weird. Lately, my fa oh, you're okay. Let's get a hee ho and chat going. Lately, my favorite shop has been closed more free he quickly ho. I made them go out of business because I heat too much of their food ho. Maybe. Did you know that there's a renowned research lab nearby? There's a rumor that the people who fall ill get taken to that lab. The whole situation gives me the creeps. I hope they figure out the cause of the illness soon. Only you knew. If you're worried, if you're worried about your health, you should go return home and rest. I can't believe this happened. That man with the cape have somehow known in advance. Oh, is he talking about, um, Yathama? Since the Prime Minister put that lockdown in place, the city's been so empty. I like how much less crowded it is. Let's go home for today. A friend of mine collapsed too. Dude, when we had the lockdown... Like, it's just so wild. I talked about it before. In different videos that when we had a lockdown i still had to go to my job only because our job was quote unquote considered non or, or, excuse me was considered essential even though it wasn't um but the other thing that was wild too was that there were times where i was just so bored that even though i know it's unethical and yes i'm part of the problem feel free to cancel me um yes i'm being serious Rion. uh yes um so yeah i used to work i uh my job that i had at the time would have me go uh, because it was apparently considered essential, even though it was just freaking retail. Um, but whatever, I, it was a check. And that's not the point. The, the point I'm going with this, to be really quickly, and Nikki, I'm not glossing over your thing, I'm going to talk about it in a second, um, is to say that there were times where during the lockdown, I was just so bored, and I, it, whenever I wasn't at work, that I would just, like, go out and walk. Like, just to explore, and you know what? It's very very calming walking in a city street or town area with no one around it's so eerie it felt like i was on like a movie set and i was fascinated by it i don't like obviously the bad things about the uh the vid the the penny d but i gotta admit those days where i did have time and i could just walk out i do miss that it's not the same anymore because now like especially where i'm at there's just weird people everywhere 
uh nikki said uh to an earlier thing that's impossible in the doom world doom maps are 2d rendered with 3d effects wait wait so it's a doom mod based off of og doom i thought it was based off like newer doom like uh the doom remix my apologies Bale says g it's almost as if the cities aren't loud cars are you remove the cars you remove the noise that said though you're canceled what but <sighs> why am i canceled I didn't just, I didn't spread it. Hey, if it makes you feel better, to this day, knock on wood, I still haven't gotten the vid. So, you know, I did get like the sniffles, but I thought it was it. Okay, so I did get like sick once and I thought I caught it. And I went to, this is obviously to a point where I went to like several different doctors and like, nah, nah, you didn't. Uh, but when I visited you at work last, I only saw two homeless people in extremely close proximity. Yeah, you never trust the people around, man. This place where we're at is a weird place. But yeah, I miss those days. I miss them something fierce. Anyway, let me get back to the game. Happy, oh, a female seven. Have you heard of Amabi? Apparently she's a spirit that protects people from diseases. My friend said she saw her at Jozoji Temple, but she still got sick and even had to be taken to the hospital. I guess you can't put much too much stock in rumors. No, you really can't. The demons are getting harder to cover up. Civilians all over are starting to notice. I just hope the public doesn't dissolve into panic. The last thing we need is being reassigned to suppressing riots. Yeah, my apologies, Nikki. I thought it was like, I thought you were talking about the remade dooms. What do I do? My wife must have caught whatever's going around and she's been stuck in bed at home. Even if I just order takeout, I still have cleaning. Laundry, shopping, there's so much I have to do now. Well, not like complaining will help. It's time like these that we need to be there for each other. So you can fool me. It seems like you only cared about having her do. Oh, I made me a joke. Never mind. I got canceled once. I probably got canceled twice this episode. I got twice for talking about my crush on Alice, and I got uh, teased for a whole thing about me walking out during the vid. So I don't need three. If I get a third cancel, three strikes, I'm out. All right, let me save because I'm guessing it's going to be something important, whatever user is going to talk about. But man, I gotta find a copy of Alice Madness Returns. I would love to play that for my birthday. It would be so fun. That and another game that I never got a chance to play when I was younger, but I would love to do that too. Uh, I've made up my mind. And I wanted you to be the first to hear my decision. Okay, you're awfully serious. Is everything okay? What's that black box you have in your hand? It looks like a, a box with a, a ring. Oh, you gotta propose to someone? You never really struck me as the type that you propose to anybody. There's no one around but me. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm going joking. to become a Nahobino. Oh. 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 Okay. I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I can and should do. Okay. Do we know? Does he know about? Okay. Again, this is. I know this playthrough is basically for those who already know OG5, so if I'm saying something spoilery, I apologize, but I think I've established that in the beginning, so don't cancel me again. I don't need three cancels. And I'm, I know chat knows this too, so... In OG5, Yuzuru does find out whom's knowledge he has, and it is someone that we've already encountered. I'll be vagueish, But I think he finds out about that at the same time Dazai and I... Or no, I think... I also find out at the same area. Like, from a different source. Does Yuzuru already know? I mean, he might have. I guess the game could have assumed that, you know, he and a certain wealthy person who has a lot of power might have talked and was like, well, it would appear that you are the one that has my knowledge. So we are going to become Nahobinos now. I'm curious if they had that kind of discussion and why he's telling me this in the dorm uh, on top of the roof here. And walking through Tokyo... I realized there are so many people out there who are suffering like Miyazu always has. I guess it sounds obvious when I say it, huh? Everyone's just trying to get by in life. Up until now, though, I'd only ever cared about my sister. There. So I've decided I'm going to try and help the people. Like I've always helped her. That's a big role. I'm not even glossing over this or being funny. That's a very big step. My respect. Tokyo's where we both grew up, after all. I don't want anyone to have to suffer the way we did. And now, Director Koshimizu's told me 
about Tsukiyomi. Oh, okay. A god of Japan's Amatsukami. And me? I miss knowledge. Oh, all right. Never mind. I guess that spit me in the face. Okay. I guess he did talk about it off camera. Wow. I thought we were kind of figuring this out at the same time, but you know what? I like the direction they're doing with this one, so I'm cool with this. If I was willing, he said, I could become a Nahobino myself and use that power to protect all of Tokyo. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to become a Nahobino. Good luck. Um, sounds just like you. What? <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. You've got me wondering how you see me. You don't want to know the answer to that. Anyways, thanks for hearing me out. That was all I wanted to say. We can head for Jozoji Temple now. Alright, well, let's go to the temple. Oh, user is back. Does he have any better skills or he's still kind of meh? Uh, he's still kind of meh. Oh, well, at least he resists fire. So, you know, it's that, I guess. Hmm. Not really, uh, not really doing so well on your whole attempt to become a Nahobino. If these are the skills you have. Man, you suck, Yuzuru. Come on. Well, no, okay. No, like, jokes aside, though, it takes some serious stones to be willing to do this, because I know it's a lot of pressure and responsibility. I'm impressed, but damn, Yuzuru, you really have to be this mad even now? All right, whatever. Let's go to Josuji. Let's get this over with. We're gonna fight uh the Kadishu, aren't we? They're gonna be there. I just I just I just know it. I just I can just feel it. Not only are the demons a threat, but now people are collapsing and we don't know why. Tokyo has become such a dangerous place. A lockdown has been put in place, but some people are ignoring it and still go outside. It would be easy to just leave them to their fate, but we have to save as many lives as we can. Could have sworn I just saw the ghost of Sergeant Yakumo walk by, but that can't be. It must have been his son. But if he were still alive, I'm sure he'd be looking for a way to help the people, even now. I ought to fulfill my duty as an officer of the law as well. And the first step to that is to stop drinking. And then he just tossed the bottle. Like, yeah, you probably imagine Young it. Man. Yeah, yeah. I already know I'm probably gonna fight the Kadishu. I don't know who I'm gonna deal with. Ooh, I hope it's that uh, I one uh, Kadishu I haven't dealt with uh, that much. What's her name? I, I'm trying to think of uh, Agra. I'm, I'm trying to remember her name because I was like, it's it's the one that's like named for the city in Aladdin. I haven't like dealt with her yet. We dealt with Nama. We dealt with Aisha. Or it also could be Lilith too. I don't know. But just in case, because Yuzuru is meh. I'm going to need a healer. You know what? Freaking. Let's just get this over with. All right, here we go. Yeah, Agra. Thank you. All right. Is it Agra? Hopefully we can find some kind of clue here. Do you feel that, Tao? The power. I can't tell what it's it is, all but mine. it's all around. As though it's in the very air here. I do feel something. Is it the Force? I can feel the Force. I am the Chosen One. I will be the next Anakin Skywalker. Whoa. Oh, okay. What the hell is that? It's collecting Magatsuhi. What is that? Whoa, what is that? No, 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 seriously. What is that disgusting thing? It's cool, but yeah. Stay back. Who, who's in my way? Yakubo. This thing is a Gadish 2 trap set here to harvest Magatsuhi. Oh, I was about to say, am I going to fight you? Why stop Wait, us? we destroyed Don't this. Fight Yakubo here? Plans. It is your funeral, my dear. A swell of Magatsuhi like that, if you don't know how to handle it, could simply devastate this entire area. It's okay, I'll absorb it. It's probably healthy. Maybe. This is my only lead on the witches. If you want to get yourselves killed, find somewhere else to do it. I will not be dying here. Alas, they have managed to cover their tracks rather well. Always such a shame when the prey is wary of their hunters. Some hunters you are if you can't track them down. Resist a prize of Magatsuhi like this. When they come to retrieve it, then we shall make our move. So then, 
You're using it as bait. Yeah, but how many lives are gonna suffer because of this? Oh, he smiled. Uh oh. A trap. But a trap that's still active. It's going to keep harvesting from innocence. He's right. I'm gonna have to fight so Yakumo, aren't I? My target is the Kadish too. So the end justifies the means then? As long as you get your kill, you don't care about the people. Now, now, there is no need to take such a tone with us. The trap is only wide enough to catch a few hundred humans. A That's still a lot. Is certain, but rather inconsequential overall. One of those humans is the person that works at my subway. Like he gets the sandwich you just right. To stopped. But this? You claim that innocent lives are expendable, but I refuse to believe that's the way! Come on, back me up, guys. We stop them here. We save everyone! Alright. Ooh, that was sick seeing my eyes glow like that. That was really cool. Oh, should you shake your head at me? I'm gonna just. I've done it before in OG5. I'll kick your ass again. Come at me, bro. Yuzuru, try not to die. Wait, I gotta fight both of them? Oh. This music. Oh, okay. I dig this. Good luck? Alright, thanks. I got this. I don't need to know your things. I know what you guys are weak to. Well, okay, I know what you're weak to. I know you're weak to electricity. Yakumo. I think if my knowledge of OG5 applies here, I think Yakumo is weak to darkness. Well, I'm still going to use electricity first. Oh, wait, no, not electricity. Fire, flip. She's weak to fire. This song is kind of dope, though. Hold on. Do it. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Booster defense. I, I doubt we're going to dodge. One at a time, I guess. Okay, I. you know what? I can test this. I think Yakubo's weak to darkness. Yep. Okay, so I was right. And new was weak to fire, not electricity. I apologize. I, I got that. I, I got it bad in my head. Um, you don't need that. Oh, you know what? It's because you're my baby. I'm gonna go for Yakubo first. I want to see what this does. Uh, greatly fills the Nagatsuki gauge. All right, what do you do? Evergreen leaves. And dance eternal. Ooh, that's kind of sick. Oh, that's. Ow. You suck. Still love you though. You suck. This song is. I'm a badass. Hold on. Wait, why did I get the simp emote though? What did what did I do anything simp worthy yet? Did I? I might have. I don't think I did. Whatever. I'm gonna cut you up with Rat Tempest. All right, here we go. Apparently, I'm only getting Nua on this, which sucks. Oh, okay. I did get him. All right, let's get. Oh, we you block you resist physical attacks? Oh, come on. Oh, it's from the newer comments? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, and to an earlier thing, Bale said when they first showed the song in the trailer, I thought it was the Kadishdu battle theme because of the opening having the contact with Kadishdu voices. I like this song though. I might have to listen to it uh properly after the stream. Well, I'm just gonna listen to it now. And the Naho Beetle did not call me a simp. First off. We do not simp on this channel. We just appreciate the quieter things in life. Remember that. I don't want to attack Nua, but at the same time, I'm going to have to be smart. I have this charge. Wow. Well, you didn't even get a crit. I can help. At least you can do is get a crit. Um... Do I want to? Well, I could do that, but you know what? 
I'm gonna need some... I'm gonna need fire, but you know what? If I can take care of Yakimo, who's definitely probably gonna be more of a problem, we're all good. None of us are weak to force, right? Okay. Oh, 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 um. Well, time to change you out. Uh, gosh. And now you have that. I should have been paying attention. Rion says, don't lose black power, please. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not trying to lose any of my demons because of expensive it is. I do have that Lugaru now, but you don't really have a use. Okay, I need fire or... Eh. Let's go. You'll do. Um... Do I want Yuzuru to die? I could just keep doing Witness Me. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if Yuzuru can dodge attacks. Do it. I shall assist you. I'm curious if you will. And you know what? Just to make it so in case you don't dodge, I'll boost your defense. Alright, let's see what happens. Let's see if Yuzuru's got good speed. Nope. He can't dodge. Because shock and surprise. Yuzuru... He's so mid. He's so mid. Why is he so mid? Come on, man. You did that whole thing about being a Nahobino, and this is how you were painting? Ugh, you're just... Alright, don't let me down. Rise. We rise. And Agadine's gonna come in clutch, I hope. And you can even get a crit. Um, just in case. I can help. Thank God you don't have like Dakaj or anything like that. Anyway, time to burn. I don't want to do this to my baby, but I just know if, if I don't, we're just gonna be at this fight forever. You know what? I could get more Makatsuki too. Get ready for a crit. That'd be a smart idea. God, he just looks so pretty. Oh man, he's beautiful. So majestic. And he's about to die. Wow, you couldn't dodge any of that stuff, huh, user? Shock and surprise. Well, what are you gonna do? Guess you'll heal yourself. Uh, let's keep everybody's defense up. Now burn! Got this way, you might as well just take care of uh, Nua. Um, I don't need to use it, but, uh, Evergreen. I don't need to use Affinity or Flaming. I can't, I can't, I have to do it, I'm so sorry. I gotta get rid of somebody. I knew it was coming, I felt it. I felt a crit was coming. Ow. Are you dead? Yuzuru, you are the worst. You can't even dodge none of the attacks. You know what, I'm not bringing you back. You're staying dead. Now that he's done, I did my pit with uh, the whole um the fight with uh, Egypt, uh, with uh, Konsu. Anywho, now that loser is gone, um, now I can use somebody better. Okay, so we need to prepare for force and electricity. Force and electricity. Force and electricity. Preferably. Uh, I don't want to use you, because you might die quick. Not you. Definitely not you. Your will block electricity. Oh, wait. What is Galvanic Slash? Is Galvanic Slash electricity? Yeah. So you could block that. No, definitely not you. Um, no, not you. Not you. No. I don't want to lose you again. But I'm kind of particular on it. Somebody's probably also wondering why I have a level 21 mermaid. Don't ask. Um, you know what? Let me use the... You know what? I got your Hayatoro. So you have a better master. Let me show you how it's done. Give me a challenge. 
Oh, uh, I just got Artemis back, Rion. Like, not that long ago. Um, what are we doing? Invasion? Uh, actually... You can throw the Sim thing as much as you want. I'm. It's Artemis. It's worth it. He's always worth it. Um, let's do... I think next turn we can go nuts. I eat that. See? But you know what's interesting? Before I go crit and just go nuts, I'm curious on something. Why doesn't Yuzuru resist electricity? I can understand ice. Thinking about Sokyomi, I can also think about light. But he does use Hayatara. You would think he would at least have resist for electricity, right? Hmm, unless there, there might be something different. Whatever. I don't know. I don't care. Let's go ham. You ready? Bottom line is, Yuzuru, you had your moment. I, I don't feel bad. Except for I do. I wish you were better. Then again, you're a guest character. At least Tao and Yoko have proved that they're good. Dazai too! Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, every other guest character has proven that they're way better than you. Yuzuru, what the flip? You are a mid-boss, you have mid-skills, you're a mid-assist character, you suck when we fought Konsu, and you suck during this. Like, what the flip is your, your use here? I got some cho I'm sorry, I have some choice words to say about Yuzuru, if it wasn't plainly obvious. I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this to you. I don't want to do it to you. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this to you. I don't want to hurt my Nua. I'm just going to have to make a better Nua. Don't hate me for this. Don't worry. I'm a way better man than uh, Yakumo. I proved it. Oh, you're going ham already, huh? Ooh, actually, that's a good one. I don't know what skill he would have. Welcome back, Matt Hill. Um, what skill does Yakumo have that's super? Probably be a multi-hitting dumb thing. Probably electricity-based. I'm still gonna witness me. This music just really slaps. Like, it's looping, obviously, but it's so good. Okay, let's think here. What multi-hitting skill does Yakumo have? I think he's electric-based. I'm just gonna probably guard and hope for the best. All right, let's see what happens. Ow! Oh, it was a physical. That's bad. Okay, we're good. I didn't know you had Deathbound, but you know what? We eat those. We're good. Oh, I have no energy. Ooh. Um, but I got a lot of items. Okay, I'm gonna heal my energy up. You've been doing very... See? When you're in my hands, you do far better. Um, I guess I should bring Yakumo back. I'm sorry, too. Oh, I hate doing that. I'm so sorry, baby. I'll treat you to a nice dinner. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Red Lobster. I don't know, Thursday at night. And maybe we can go for a nice moonlit walk on the beach. We can talk about like the creation of man. We can talk about mud. I don't know, just things like that. I'm well prepared. I'm going to get the Simpy Mo Bale. I will not be stopped by this. I feel already so bad that I had to do that to her. Um, what do I do with you now? I just just suck and you. No new for you, so we can just beat the crap out of you. Are you already doing this? Are you just gonna death down again? Keep witnessing me. Just race for it. All right, ready to go. Ow! Oh, next one's a guaranteed crit, huh? It must be fancy. Well, speaking of. Oh, I just realized something. I could switch Loki out for dark users. 
because Black Rider... Oh, well, he doesn't resist uh, electricity, but at least I won't die from it. I don't at least have any other dark user except you, right? Eh, whatever. We'll just see what happens. I'll stick with this for now. Not much damage, but it'll still hurt. Uh, we need heal. Well, this next one's a guaranteed crit hit, huh? Gotta prepare for it. Now the question is, what will he do though? Will he death bound again? Or will he do something crazy? Just in case. Let's make you weak. And I hope people weren't too, like, hyper-focused on the whole thing I said about Yuzuru being mid. He is. He's so mid. He's the worst of these guest characters, by far. Ow. Wait, are you just going to spam that now? Okay, that's new. Okay, we're going to need some energy for Tal, huh? I can do that crap. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. Do I have any demons that... No. But, I have an idea. Not a smart idea, but it's definitely an idea. How many turns do I have? I can do this. It's not a good idea, but it's an idea. Your turn! He uses a magic attack. Actually, no. Give it a turn. Alright, now let's plan accordingly. I'll use a Soma drop to get my stuff back. For sure, I should probably protect Loki. Nah. I can heal with a uh, Hyatro. Hyatro does the Sun's Radiance. On Yakupon, casts Tetra card on himself. So even though we might take this damage, he will also take some damage too. If he uses Deathbound. Yeah. We still take damage, but I think we gain more than we lose on this aspect. I'm pretty sure. Plus, Onyoka Pong can keep healing. Sorry, if, if I go quiet, or if I'm like, you know, taking a minute to like plan these things, only because I'm just trying to think like, what's the most effective means I can do? Also, I could do this too, because I forgot Hayatsura has Fizz Block. At least Onyakapon can attack and just make sure he loses that turn. Fizzblock is handy, but Onyakapon can make him hurt himself, too. Way better idea, actually. But just be ready. Nah, no, it's not that yet. Now I do need to start saving my turns. As long as I don't miss. I will next turn have to switch Loki out for a Dark Demon. Is he going to use... What will he do? Just guess. I shall assist you. Not Chris, uh, crit boost anymore, so what is he going to do? Die. Whatever. Okay, we need darkness. I'm scared to use Alice, but Alice is my best dark demon. You know what? Can't be a whim. Gotta make some content plays. Let's go. All right, Alice, I'll do my best to protect you. Um, I'll definitely do my best to protect you. Die for me. Because you're gonna be my best thing against this. And just to make certain you die for her. On a rise, Alice. We rise. We're all gonna be a little mad by the time this episode's done. I think we're all gonna be a little mad around here. Um, should I use you? No. Let's use Catch Card on Yakupon, Casey. That's a deathbound thing. Yeah, just die for me. 
I was debating about Concentrate, but I can use on Yakima next turn. You look a little hurt there, Yakimo. Oh, yeah, I think he's going to use Deathbound. I'm pretty confident he's going to do that. Well, time to get some hits in. I'm going to have to listen to this music after this. This song is really good. I'm, I know I'm being a broken record with this, but jeez, it just gets... I don't know. It feels like it actually gets better. I don't know. That can be said for like a lot of music. Um... Bing. Bye for me. I could have done Donum Magisai, but I'm also trying to think about that. Because I was like, I'm pretty sure Alice is going to do it. Dale says, I won't say the name of the song right now, but it will be said later, rest assured. Okay, I, I, thank you. Well, then that means it's probably spoilers or something. Then maybe I shouldn't look at the song yet. Nice arm. Looks like we win. We? Time to put this thing in the ground and find a better way. Easter Lakami, you ready? Huh, right. We'll be right back. Stay here. Well... Yakumo. Do you claim you're all tough? You hate them, gods and demons both. You said you wanted a world for humanity. But your approach here would have gotten people killed. Why don't you care? I told you. The world of humanity has no need for those who side with demons. I don't think all the people here are. So explain Nua. You rely on the demon's power. Ooh, these are both like good, good ones. I know Nua's thing though. I think I want to say this one too. I think this one is better in the circumstance. You rely on demon's power. Yeah, you can't deny that. And from what I heard, you even gave the summoning program to the people. Hypocrite. It was your excuse. Your justification. If everyone has demons, then Nua can stay with you. You're just... Yep. A hypocrite. Called it. Damn, she's right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Whoa. Uh. What? Oh, dude. What? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you gotta die, Yakimo. Sorry, There's you're done for. No hypocrisy in my vision. No None. flipping way. Bale said, so the name of the song is Battle of No Hypocrisy. I'll flip you, Bale. That one hurt. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Demon is but a means to an end. Nothing more. Nothing. Oh, hold, just, just, just hold on. Just hold. Just give me a second. This, this freaking guy. I, you, I, mm, I. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I don't mean to break immersion. I. Whatever. Let's just, let's just move on. I'm embarrassed right now. Let's play the game. Less. Humans need the will to survive at any cost. You're still a hypocrite. And those who lack that strength of will no longer deserve to live. You're still a hypocrite, you Kuzanoha reject. I don't care how cool you are and your cool katana and your cool voice and your cool eyes and They're back. cool clothes and damn he's cool. I managed to shut it down, at least for the time being. Hopefully that'll mean no more victims. We did well. Bethel can take the reins from here and figure things out. Let's head back and report to the director. Roger that. I gotta admit, I was definitely not expecting a, oh, uh, eh, it wasn't that bad. 
I definitely wasn't a welcome, welcome, Elfros to the stream. I definitely wasn't expecting a dual boss. That threw me for a loop. That that was actually really fun. And I really love that song. Also, Bayo, again, I'm serious. Like, seriously, flip you. You you were so you bet you felt so good doing the whole, oh, I'll wait until after the scene before I tell you what the name of the title is. And then as soon as I react, you're like, boom, there you go. Haha, ha, you suck. You knew I was gonna get emotional. I bet you felt all fun and happy and all cool when I was dancing your little puppet strings, huh, Beowulf? Why am I going here? Oh, I don't need to go here. I wanted to recover. On the bright side, none of my demons died, so that's what matters. Yeah, so none of my demons died. We're good. I know someone's already in the comment section or something be like, Hey, so we got a good clip of it. Oh, I know. Okay, before I get emotionally invested in what Bayo just said, um, can't wait for that one person to uh, realize I didn't heal Yuzuru and be like, B, what are you doing? Heal Yuzuru. I'm like, eh, he needs to stay in timeout for a little bit. He's well, you know what they say, time is money, and I'm not really made of it, so I need to keep as much as I can. You know, I'm trying to, you know, follow a certain person's image and save as much. And then I, I tell this to Kyoshi Mizu, and he's like, Very well, my boy. You are doing good. Pretty soon, you might even be son and calling yourself assistant director. Like, Thanks, Kyoshi Mizu. You're back. See? User is fine. He didn't die. Ish. Yes, sir. We found a trap at Josoji Temple that was set by the Kadishtu. We also kicked the living crap out of Yakumo and Nua. <laughs> We've temporarily disabled it, so this would be the time for Bethel's researchers to investigate. Understood. I'll mobilize the Japan branch immediately. No sign of the Kadishtu, though. It's entirely possible they'll show up later. Elfra says Yuzuru can handle himself. Yeah, like, he's fine. Look, he's all fine and dandy right now. Granted, it probably looks like he can heal over with one little touch, and pretty sure he's bleeding a lot. That's the reason why the camera's panned up like this, so we don't see his legs. He's probably wobbly knees. He's probably fine. He's he's a, he's a big guy. He's going to be a Nahobino. You could surely take dying a couple of times to get the power necessary, right? Noted. I'll make sure to prepare a security detail. We'll also work on countermeasures to draw the Kadishtu's attention. But I'll have to be smart about it. Can't afford to spend too much money. As for you, the Saint and Hiromine, could I ask you all to go back to Shinjuku? If the Kadishtu aim to use the Metropolitan Government Building to summon a god, then odds are you'll find them there. If you encounter them, don't hesitate. Engage on sight. Got it. Understood. Is Yuzuru not coming with us? Correct. Atsuta will be joining me in tracking down the Kadishtu. Yeah, I think I know the real thing you two are going to work on. We'll be sweeping other areas as we make our own way to the government building. If we don't find them, that's where we'll rendezvous. Well, that was a... Ooh, money! Sweet! A fun little distraction. Considering the fact that, uh, you know... We've been trying to go through Shinjuku for so long. That's the reason why it's this long. Because every time I try to do some headway, all of a sudden, oh, Miyazu gets kidnapped. Oh, uh, the town's in danger. Always something. Uh, let's do some magic. Oh, wait, only got one. Uh, let me do Vitality instead. This do showdown, huh? User is gone. Oh, boo, Listen. flipping who? All right, gotta go back to Shinjuku. <laughs> Hopefully before I get something else to tell me I need to do something else. You know what I mean? Like, every time I try to make some headway, I'm like, oh, all right, let's go to this area of Shinjuku. And it's like, oh, no, Dazai lost his hat and needs your help to find it. I'm like, what? Okay, sure. That was fun, though. Like, Joseph said, oh, that was fun. Hey, Alice. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're my Navi demon. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, speaking of, let's... uh. Let's use some different demons. Let's use... Let's use Lugaru. Let's use... Hmm. 
Actually, you know what? Can't go wrong with my Black Rider. And then I need a Healer Demon. Let's use Kushinari Hime. I want to rely on Tao and Yoko. Okay, which way do we go from here? Go around here. Oh, there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That area. Right. I think there were cherubs over there I couldn't go to. Oh, was there a closer one that I could have taken? That's eh, fine. We can run all the way. See what Alice gets me. Because I still don't know, and I'm glad that no one spoiled it for me yet, but it is something that I do want people to help me figure out at some point, you guys listening. Um, I still want to know, like, what navigator things are better. So, okay. For example, like, Huapo was one of the... the be Whoa. Jeez, you scared the crap out of me. Like, Huapo was one of the best navigator demons in the first one. But, for example, Dekarabia was good for, like, helping me find jewels. Like... What are the uh, navigator stats in this? Granted, I could look this up as well, but I don't want to spoil myself right now. Oh. A lifestone, huh? That's kind of ironic coming from you. But, like, I want to know, like, as we are now, who's the best navigator demon? My question is what navigator is going to be added in a future update? Uh, I hope Cleo. Please let it be Cleo. For, for scientific purposes. I think I can speak for it. Stop finding life stones. <laughs> Why are you finding life stones? Hey, where am I going? I'm going lost. Ao hopes Mara. I don't. Mara's too big. Don't take my words out of context. Even though I know you guys are like too late. Uh, Elfra says, "Yeah, Dekarabi was used to farm jewels, but has the more random encounter ratio." I know, which is why Dekarabi sucks. Although, I don't think he... Well, I remember when I had Dekarabia, I don't think he was as bad as Jack-O-Lantern. Jack-O-Lantern, I think, was the worst to me. And yeah, okay, Bayo, I did say that. But, like, don't, like... I'm already embarrassed enough. Like, I didn't want to say that to be, like, a thing. Even though it's too late, I already know. Well, that's why you gotta be careful what you do on the internet, man. Uh, wait, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Please stop being life stones. Why is she fighting life stones? Oh, if Alice finds me life stones, that's gonna make me cry. Alice deserves better than that. Come on. Alice should not be just finding me life stones. I hope I'm just unlucky. Oh. You guys are here. Oh. Um. <clears throat> that's unexpected. A moment. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. And so the effect I usually have on the cheap and weak. Bethel's main force is focused on slaying the Demon King. With his extreme methods, we can't reliably trust Mastema either. Our only choice is to protect Tokyo from the Kadishtu on our own. Those demons are exceptionally shrewd. We can't be sure how they'll come at us next. Proceed with the utmost caution. I'm finally useful for something. I mean, the Kadishtu are harvesting Magatsuki from humans so they could summon a god. They were even willing to harm innocents to do it. What kind of god could desire such cruelty? I can think of a few. Whatever it is, I'll probably only end up causing even more suffering. Yeah. After what Miyazu said, I realized something. The whole time, I've been trying to save Tokyo in order to protect her. Things are different now. It's not just my sister anymore. I want to protect my sister's home and the people my sister cares about. And to do that, I need to be a hero my sister would love, Naho Bino. You know, for my sister. But it's, of course, not all for my sister. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, we got it, you siscon. Uh, where will this take me? Oh, uh, that's that's really far down. Oh, well, here we go. Whoa! Oh, whoa, I was not expecting the rings. That scared me. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, and Alice, your laugh just freaked me out. Oh, you do find jewels. Wait, does Alice find me jewels? Huh. I'm so happy. That beautiful demon solved all my problems with a fortune telling. She must be a goddess. Oh, well, wherever I am. Oh, I see Dacnes. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Sorry, I went through like a, every emotion right there. My waifu senses are tingling. And then Tao's like, I sense a disturbance in the boy force. Like, what? 
I think some woman's about to come out of nowhere and claim my territory of Nahobino. I did not anticipate the system at Josoji Temple would be shut down. Hello, Agra. You're one of them. The Kadishtu. I have a name. Indeed. I am Agret of the Kadishtu. I have also been called Agra the Fortune Teller. You might also know me as being Queen from Persona 5 or Asuna from Sora Online. Because I know her voice actress. Not so in person, honestly. You. Just a normal all those fan. People, you made them all sick. It was the most efficient way to gather Magatsuhi. Though oh. I admit some did not handle it so well. Rest assured, Wait, are we about to fight? It was calibrated quite precisely so that no one would die. I took pains. Our goal is not to take lives of the innocent mortals in this realm. We simply wish to harvest Magatsuhi. You didn't show up at the temple to collect. Was it because Yakumo was there? I know that now. It was like... <laughs> oh, why are you he saying is everything? Frightening, isn't he? I admit we do wish to avoid him. But there was no need to go. It was simply an excess. Oh, I love her. Aishith, Nama, and I, we have already gathered the necessary Magatsuhi. God, I wish the that were me. I mean, what? Vision is within our grasp. Soon enough, we shall have this entire world enveloped in the embrace of the will of the Kadishtu. But for what, you though? You too late, and your efforts for naught, though you did try so very hard to stop us. Yeah, yeah, I know, Chad, stop. Regardless... I don't very much care for how you disrupted my precisely crafted design. I did it to get your attention. So I shall dispense a punishment. May your existence be lost to darkness. Well, joke's on you. I like getting punished, so... <laughs> I can't even do a voice close to replicating that beauty. Holy moly. I understand, guys. I, I get it. I know why you guys said it. I get why, uh... Sorry, this music... Is this the opening theme music? I don't think it is, but it sounds close to it. Sorry, that threw me for a loop. Uh, ha 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 ha. I have placed several projections of myself hidden along the path ahead. How long do you suppose you will last before the unending torment drives you to madness? What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Am I just gonna... Whoa, uh, okay. I was not prepared for... I'm just, uh, hi. <clears throat> okay, uh, calm down, B. It's... I mean, you can handle it. You got Nama. You could talk to Nama. You could talk to Aisha. Surely you could talk to another pretty girl. <clears throat> uh, hi, my name is V. <clears throat> I mean... Hello, my name is V. I... Here, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Here, let me, uh, come for a handshake. No? Okay, um... You know what? No, okay, well, let's, let's just talk. They have no intention of listening? Alright, well, I tried. Okay, it's cool. Uh, we can just have a quiet date, you know. Just relax. Okay, not light. Um, let's try electricity. Oh, you're weak to electricity. Oh, see, I knew there was a spark between us. I didn't know that you loved electricity like I did. Oh, I'm so happy that we do. Like, I love electricity. You clearly love electricity. I think we could work with this. I think we're gonna have beautiful children together. Yeah, this may be coming as a bit of a shock, but I'm actually not the type of guy that usually comes off strong on the first date. I'm actually very kind and gentle and sweet. And other, you know, positive words. Let me know at what point this bit can stop chat, because I'm embarrassed talking about this. <laughs> Queen's the creep? Oh, is he new skill? Well, uh, do you like Red Lobster? Die. So much. 
Ah! Ow. What the flip move was that? Wait, hold the flow, the phone. 12 minimal almighty attacks? Wait, that, what? Are you serious? Not like what to this, it's just legit straight 12? Are you, <laughs> oh my God. You gotta be flipping kidding me. That's so ridiculous. Twelve attacks. That's just straight twelve. And it, I like how it has the flavor, the the extra word of minimal because that's like whatever. It's twelve minimal. You know what's ridiculous? Hold on, hold on. Where, uh, where, where is she? Where is she? Artemis has fifteen weak attacks to random foes, but it's still physical based. So that means that you can like you know resist or null or repel that kind of thing. Freaking uh uh. uh this is almighty based. You can't repel almighty. You can't, you can't protect yourself against almighty. That's gonna hurt no matter what. The only thing you do is just like boost your defenses. You can't stop almighty attacks. That's why it's called almighty. That is the most ridiculous. Okay, this game needs to chill. Seriously. The last time I got this like heated and intense was when we lost to Kona Hanasakia, which I still need to freaking fight her. Uh, oh, for instance, you can only wish to dodge. I can only pray. And clearly, since this world clearly doesn't have a god anymore, I don't know what I'm praying to, but something needs to help me dodge or withstand it because that's stupid. It's almighty based. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's 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 everything I want in a woman. Heck, I was just talking about my well, one of my old crushes on Alice. Although, it's kind of shocking okay i didn't actually didn't mean to make an electric joke on that one it is kind of shocking that she's weak to electricity i really wasn't expecting that i thought she'd be weak to like life or something which means i'm gonna need some electric demons huh well how are you getting like getting almighty see ya wait Wait, what? Is that it? We we do it? I go back. I changed my mind. I don't wanna go back here. I'm out. Hey, so that place sucks. Uh you guys wanna help? I understand the enemy's not the real one. Oh, they did say she was saying projections. Oh yeah, I did forget about that. Hey, so that area sucks, and it's dark, and not in the good way. I don't want to go back, because that place sucks. So, can you guys help me? You're just going to stand there, aren't you? Okay. Um, hold on, let me... Electric, electric. And then I guess I do need Hayatoro. I'll keep Kushin on here. Actually, you know what? There, now we all have electricity. So, I'm guessing from this is we're going to keep getting harassed by projections of Agra. Uh, Agra. Oh, yep, see, it's already dark. I hate this. I could just get that pillar. They have the nerve to do this to me. Alright, let's save and get this going. I know I just saved, but, you know, ABS. Uh, do I still have time? Uh, technically, a couple minutes. Please do a second episode. Uh, well, wasn't really planning on it, but I guess it would be a sucky place to end it. Oh, well now you got a caps lock to please thing. I mean, I guess it would be kind of awkward to just end it here. Oh, that was scared the crap out of me. Um. I, I honestly, uh, actually don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to today, but I could, well, I don't know. We'll see. I got a couple minutes. I'll figure something out. I'm going slow, because I don't know. Where is she going to pop up from? Oh, God, Alice. 
This may not have been the best idea having Alice as my navigator demon in this area. Oh, look, an angry demon. Well, thanks, Alice. Is it at least a Matama? It's not a Matama. Ah, oh, flip me running. Wait, it's you two? Oh, I don't need to care about you guys. Go away. I already got my own problems to deal with here. You're not helping the circumstance. Wow, good crit. See ya. Alright, phew. Easy work. Uh, I'm sorry. If I could've... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa! <laughs> sorry, I was I was about to do the voice and everything, and then I read ahead. But wow, I'm sorry. If only I found a stronger demon, then you could have died for me. I, I, this is not. When did this become the game? I'm like going slow because I'm scared. Okay, at least I'm not the deal with. Well, I could use you for demon fusion. What's up? Thinking friendly with a few demons enough to survive, boy. Let's see how much you really know. Oh no, it's a freaking quiz. Oh. Ooh. I think that's Poltergeist. It looks like an arm from Poltergeist. Okay. So far, I haven't got one wrong. I think I'm going by what I just saw on chat. I think we all could agree. Okay, I don't want it to be seen like I hate the quiz. It's just the timing and when it pops up, it just always gets me. But I think we could all agree as a consensus, the quizzes are awesome. And so far I haven't got one wrong. I don't want to jinx myself and get one wrong. You are definitely fusion fodder. Would you like a oh, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, God. Sorry. I was not expecting Agra's voice. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Was that Agra? That was legit Agra, right? Ooh, thanks for the money. That was Agra, right? I heard it. Where is she? Was that not Agra's voice? That was her voice, right? Am I going crazy? I think it's literally just what I said in the beginning of this episode. I think we're all going a little mad. You know what? Forget it. I know what I'm going to title this episode. It was her? Okay, so I'm not crazy. That was Agra. But where is she? Just... Let me know. Just... Usually when you're trying to plan a date, you call before you just show up at a person's house, man. You know, it's a proper etiquette. Like, I, I, I might, might, I'm always free to tow for a call. I, I'm, I'll happily, like, chat about anything, really. I'm going slow because I'm scared. I don't know where she'll pop up from. Oh, okay. I can see. Thank goodness. Oh, what was that? Oh, is that the music? Oh, okay. <laughs> this freaking game. Sorry, right, scratch my arm here. Okay, so it's only at the bottom floor that she comes to attack me? I don't trust it. This, this area is just it sucks. It's a nose chain. Huh. Ugh, all right, give me this bad boy. What is this? Three critical drums? Oh, that's kind of handy, I guess. Ooh, don't want to go down there just yet. Ooh, I like this area's music. Hold on, this is kind of nice. Go away, Anzu. Go away, Anzu. 
there's a quest over here. All right, then maybe I'll see what this quest is. Oh, Kresnik! Oh, Kresnik. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I... I it was not that long ago. I think it was last episode or the episode before. We talked to... Yeah, we talked to Kudlak. And I'm going to tell you guys right now... Kresnik is one of my favorite... I've said it a million times. Kresnik's one of my favorite Mega Ten demons. So... You're going to have to really convince me not to work for Kresnik here. Wretched Kudlak. Damn that Kudlak. Hmm? Who are you? I myself am Kresnik. Hunter of vampires. Akira, I see. So you are the fabled demon who has obtained knowledge. There is something about you. Have you already fallen for Kudlak's trickery? How disheartening. I do not know what kind of poison Kudlak may have sullied your mind with, but are you willing to consider another perspective? For someone as amazing and cool and beautiful as you, happily. I'd appreciate your open-mindedness. Kudlak seems to be distributing a beverage that can temporarily boost a demon's abilities. The raw material is blood drawn from humans who hold demon's knowledge. It is a way for demons who cannot return to being Nahobino to use humans as a means of alleviating their own troubles. Everyone has a role to play in life. My role is the hunter, and Kudlak is my prey. One must not abandon their role and seek power beyond their natural capabilities. Yes. That is why I plan to get ahead of Kudlak and rid this land of the humans that provide his supply. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, why, why'd you have to say that? Well, because I will not tolerate the miscreant humans who have infiltrated this netherworld, nor the demons who wish to use them for their own duplicitous means. Kresnik. Kresnik. Eliminating Kudlak himself has proven difficult, however, for there exists an ancient curse between us. No, then. That is where I ask for your cooperation. I believe that with your power, you can drive him away from this land. It is inappropriate for a demon as powerful as yourself to be in the service of a cretin like Kudlak, anyhow. How about it? Will you free yourself from Kudlak's clutches and join my cause instead? Oh, no. Kudla Kresnik. <laughs> Also, was it pronounced duplicitous? Uh, duplicitous? I don't know how to pronounce that word in case I blubbed that one up. Just saying real quick. Doesn't matter. You are like a true natural born hunter. I believe Kudlak has taken a residence in Kabukicho. I implore you to hurry. You had to say that. You had to say you had to kill the humans. I was so on board with you doing it. I was so on board with kicking Kudlak's ass. I was like, yeah, all right, Kresnik. Who do you want me to do it? You can tell me to jump off. Of well, okay, maybe not. You can tell me to go uh, go to the, take a, a lollipop from a baby and be like, all right, do it. I'll do it in a heartbeat. But you had to say that, man. Oh, flip me, running. Okay, um, I'm a little over, but this is where I got to call it. Uh, gosh, man. And what sucks is that I just realized something. I still gotta like run through that area. I gotta go all the way back to deal with um with Kudlak. Oh boy. Okay. Um well okay, let's think. What are we gonna do on the next episode, folks? Rion says I gotta do another episode in my opinion. I can't. I actually I I'm, I don't think I can. But what I will do to to appease you, Rion, is and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't. I apologize. I cannot do another episode. Um, but I will be fair. Um, oh, actually, no. I don't. I don't think I actually can because there's a couple of uh things I have to do this week. Uh, because there's other things I have to do double episodes this week according to my schedules. Like I still have to do a double for Tokyo Xanadu. I got to do Grandia. I have to get ready for um Eternites, and I'm trying to do this Master Detective thing again. I don't think I can. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I can't do a, a double today. But on the next episode, for you as well as many others who are probably expecting another episode to happen soon or a longer episode, um, we got to meet Agra today. Okay, let's let's start off by saying we got to talk to Agra, and yeah, Agra's so amazing. God, I love her and Nama. 
and Aisha. Oh, I like everyone right now, except for Lilith, because right now Lilith's kind of making me mad. Then again, I like red, so we'll see. I don't know, I just really like all the condition design. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's let's be calm, because this episode, I did say I was going to try and talk calmly, but I'm clearly going crazy. So, <clears throat> what have we accomplished in today's episode, folks? We made a new demon in Sibylle. Um, we got to explore more of the area. We took down Yakimo. Really wasn't expecting that fight, but it was really nice to hear Yoko kind of tell it like it is. And Yakimo, that odd, like that look he gave us, he was like, hmm, was very fascinating to me. Um, we have a new area to explore for the next episode where I guess I'm going to be harassed by Agra's projections, which quite frankly, sounds like a blessing to me. Like, I don't see the problem of this. I mean, if it wasn't dark, I wouldn't be creeped out. Probably also doesn't help the fact that we have Alice, which again, that mission we did with Alice has definitely got to be one of the weirder ones, but I'm not complaining. It was pretty enjoyable and I did like it, but yeah, it was a pretty good episode. Um, what I might do off camera, honestly, is just for money's sake, I might just run around Kabuki Cho. I might only because I want to get money because eventually I want to make newer demons. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to off camera just run around. I might level up too. But my goal is to just get some money and maybe I can get some jewels for Kabuki Cho. So that way I might just go with Dekarabi again. So that way I get more essences because I can, apparently it can never have enough. I mean, hell, we gave Hyatsuro enough to get to near 90 agility. So who knows what I could do. But yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. But like I said, next episode we'll explore this new area. And I don't know, honestly, because I'm torn between whether I should help out Kudlak or help out Kresnik. I really want to help out Kresnik. But... You had to say that. I don't know. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Like Algami said earlier, if you enjoy this content, the lovely sound of my voice, or you just really want to support people like me, I greatly appreciate you subscribing and following on either my Twitch or YouTube with the handle of Vitamin DGR. But nonetheless, thank you all for tuning in, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode.